What's good, Scarf Scarf? This is going to be current feelings for you and your person, okay? We're going to see how your person feels, and we're going to see how you feel, okay? So if y'all don't mind, Scarf, y'all make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all want to leave a donation, if y'all care to leave me a donation, I'm going to have a link in the description box below. Be greatly appreciated. Uh, to the ones that's been donated to me, Scarf, thank y'all very much. God bless y'all. All right, because it really does help me out as a reader, okay? But uh, this is going to be a general message, okay? This one I resonate with everybody. But uh, we will kind of get specific a little bit. All right. Okay, to Michael, Allah, Holy Spirit, Mom, let's go ahead and tune in. What is Scorpio's person's current feelings for Scorpio? What are their current feelings for Scorpio? Before I start this read, is this somebody that Scorpio is talking to or disconnected from? Is this somebody that Scorpio is connected to or disconnected from? Something keeps coming through to me to tell y'all disconnected. We're going to find out, though. Is this somebody Scorpio is talking to or disconnected from? Before I get started with this read. I keep hearing disconnected. Some odd reason. No, it could be somebody that you're in communication with right now. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it is somebody that you're talking to right now, okay? I get the sense that y'all are, are communicating a lot back and forth, Scorpio. Y'all are definitely communicating back and forth about something. There's a lot of communication going on between you and this individual. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're communicating with, back and forth with. I'm getting a lot of over-the-air messages. You could be communicating to them over the phone through text messaging, uh, talking over the phone, video chat, etc. There's definitely a lot of words being spoken between you and this individual. So you're definitely on talking terms. All right. It could be a fire sign. Don't have to be, but that's the energies that I have right there. Scarp with the eight of wands once again. All about communication. What are Scorpio's person's current feelings for Scorpio? They could be expressing their emotions to you. They could be expressing their emotions to you. What is this individual's current feelings for Scorpio? What is this individual's current feelings for Scorpio? Faith, nice. You got the faith card on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. The hangman in reverse. Okay, so things are coming out of stagnation, period, due to somebody talking to you now, Scorpio. So I see things becoming unstagnant, okay? I see them wanting to work on things with you, Scorpio. I see them wanting to work things out with you and to come out of the stagnation, period. Maybe this is somebody that was very stuck in their head about you they didn't know how to move they didn't know how to communicate to you but now they're talking to you it's so somebody that you're talking to so before uh the people come in here comment saying oh my person ain't talked to me ain't have a talk this don't go for you this goes for the scorpios that somebody's already in communication with okay this is an individual right here scorpio that's come out of stagnation with you and it looks like to me they're talking to you about wanting to build things back up. Wanting to work things out with you is what I'm getting. Yeah, the Two of Cups, there's a reconciliation that has happened here, Scorpio. Y'all are definitely on talking terms. It's like they no, they no longer want to keep things stagnant, Scorpio. And they're talking to you about something to do with a job or just simply working together. They want to work together with you, Scorpio. They do love you right here with the two of cups. They do love you, Scorpio. They feel like things can be worked out between the two of you, which is why they're communicating about it. Now, I will, I'm not going to necessarily take back what I said a few minutes ago. It's not going to go for the people that's not in communication because somebody could be reaching out. 
the lines of communication will be open, okay? But I specifically asked it, is this a person that Scorpio is disconnected from? But this turned up. So this is somebody that Scorpio is talking to right as of now. And this is backing up that energy. Somebody you're definitely talking to, Scorpio. You're in communication with. If you ain't received the message, then this message may not resonate with you. But you could, there's a possibility, a slim possibility that you could end up receiving messages from somebody. Because they want to come out the stagnation period. But anyways, getting back to the original messages, somebody that has come out of stagnation with you, Scorpio, and they want to work things out with you because they do have feelings for you. And they do see things going to the next level in this relationship is what I'm picking up on, Scorpio. They, they very, they care about you very much. Because you know why I know? Because you got the faith card at the bottom of the deck. That's the Hierophant energy. This individual is dead focused on you, Scorpio. Dead focused on you, putting in their work and efforts. They feel like you're a hard worker, too. That you're about the shit that you talk. They definitely feel like you're a hard worker, Scorpio. Like you're not playing around. They know that you care about them, too, Scorpio. But they care about you the same exact way. So I see this individual really want to invest in this connection. They really want to invest. Yeah, exactly what the Ace of Swords are telling you the truth. They're telling you the truth. This individual is not coming across a lion, Scorpio. If you feel like they're hiding something, they're not. They're telling you the truth with the Ace of Swords upright. This individual is finally being honest with you. Okay, this could be a new person too. This could be somebody new that you met. But you're going to know how it resonates if it is an old person that's talked to you or if it is a new person. But you're going to feel. I'm not saying you feel like they're lying, Scott. Because if you do feel like that way, that's your paranoia. Because they're telling you the truth. With the Ace of Swords. All right? That could just be in your mind. Because what I sent to Scorpio is a lot of honest communication. Somebody is talking to you. There is communication. Somebody definitely has reached out. And y'all communicating. Y'all talking about working things. Some, this person could be expressing themselves... To the extent to where they want to move things to the next level with you. As far as getting engaged. Maybe some of y'all could be talking about an engagement. And they're being honest about it. They're definitely being truthful about the way they feel about you, Scorpio. They do want to invest. They're very dead set focused on investing in this connection. Because it's something that's special to them. They really love you and they really care about you. Six of Cups in reverse. So they could still have some of the past memories that's not so well between the two of y'all. Scorpio is kind of lingering in their mind. Or they could still feel like you're still viewing them in this light right here, Scorpio. Even though you may be talking to this individual, they still may be feeling like you still don't see them the same as you once did, but you really do. But this is their feelings for you, okay? But they, there's a part of them that still feels like you don't see them in the same light as you once did. Maybe they wasn't being honest in the past, Scorpio. I'm not saying that happened. But what I get right here, Scorpio, with this Ace of Swords, this is a clear message of this person being honest and wanting to invest. Okay? The tower in reverse, they, don't, they no longer want to cause tower moments, Scorpio, which are representing things being blown up, things falling apart. They want to work on a stable foundation. So somebody has reconciled, which I guarantee you, somebody has reconciled with you. But they still feel like you have this, this type of vision of them, like it's the way you perceive them is not the same as you once did because they could have did you wrong in the past. But I see that they're finally coming forward with the honesty, Scorpio. They're finally being honest. They are definitely being honest. And you both are on talking terms. You're speaking to this individual as you watch this video, Scorpio. You could be texting them. Just like I said, I specifically asked if Scorpio is in connection with this individual. It shows you are. You're talking to him. But they still feel like you don't see them through the rose color shades anymore. Like you could be expressing the bad times. You could be telling things at how, man, you was wrong for what you did. 
But at the same time, you're talking things out, and you're like, I know, I know. I know I screwed up. I know. But, look, I want to apologize to you, and I want to work things out, Scar. I don't want to leave this broken. I really care about you, and I really love you. I know I screwed up, and I'm sorry for it. I want to be honest, and they are being honest, Scorpio. Look, the Ace of Swords right here, they are being honest. That's a straightforward message with the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of communication, a lot of messages. But they understand why you don't see them in the same light, but they're willing to put in the work anyways. Bruh, if somebody is doing this to you, Scorpio, kudos to, if you're a cross watcher, you come back to Scorpio and you're about your shit, you owning up to things, give me some dab, bruh. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't against no other signs, bro. I'm telling you, you want a Scorpio's respect, you be honest, you be real, you be authentic about the way your apology and you make sure it's genuine. Because Scorpio, right off top, we will see straight through it. If it's a false apology, if it's anything fake, if it's anything that's trying to give this wish wash energy, we will, we will continuously ignore you. But if it's something that is genuine, Scorpio will accept it. Scorpio will accept it. And if you are one of these ones out there, if you're a cross watcher that has reached out to Scorpio, communicated with Scorpio, knowing that things were stagnant because you screwed something up. And even though you think you still feel like Scorpio is holding this negative perspective of you and you still investing, Scorpio is going to respect you. Scorpio is going to respect you. And it's like you understand that. You finally have this understanding about you, and I greatly respect people like that, okay? I'm not saying every situation will turn out like this one, Scorpio, but it looks like to me this individual wants to invest. They're willing to invest their time into this connection because of how much you really mean to this person, Scorpio. And they already understand that you don't see them in the same light, okay? They already understand that you don't see them in the same light. They feel that this, at least that's how they're feeling. I'm not saying that's the truth, but this is how they feel. They're like, man, Scorpio don't see me the same. But I want to show Scorpio that I'm going to be reliable. I don't want to give up on Scorpio. I want to work on things with them. I want to put my all into this connection because I want us to be together. That's why things aren't stagnant anymore. This could be another water sign. Uh, it could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be with another Scorpio. Or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the wands. Yeah, underneath the, the eight of coins, Scorpio, this is the ten of coins. This individual wants to work. I'm telling you, Scorpio, this individual feels like you're very stable. You're very reliable. And you're somebody that's not going to bullshit them. Even though, you, even though you may have this six of cups in reverse, you may be thinking negative of them. Like perceiving them in a negative uh, aspect as you communicate with them. But I also get the sense that you love them too, Scorpio. You love them too. You just kind of have that edge to you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not going to screw me over. You're not going to screw me over. And this individual knows that. That's why they're investing, Scorpio. They know that you're not one to play around with. They don't want to cause this chaos anymore. They don't want to cause that and they're not. They're not. They're dead set on having a long-term commitment with you. They're dead set on working with you, Scorpio. You and this individual can have the same profession as something. With the eight of coins and the ten of coins. Y'all could become very rich with one another, Scorpio. This individual wants something long-term with you. They feel like you're that partner. You're that number one partner that they want something long-term with. The chariot in reverse. They feel like things wasn't victorious if they did try to move on in the past, Scorpio. Maybe that's why you're viewing them in a negative aspect. They try, maybe they try to move on with something else, another situation. That didn't turn out so well. But there's something here, Scorpio, that may not be move, moving forward. They feel like you're not ready to move things to the next level or something like that, Scorpio. Or maybe somebody could be having car trouble. I'm getting car trouble. Maybe somebody could be having car trouble. This could be with a cancer, with the chariot in reverse. Somebody may be having car trouble, Scar. That's just a random message that's coming through to me, intuitive message. Somebody may be having car trouble, working on their car a lot. 
five of swords, they want to fight for it, Scorpio. They want to fight for it. But they also feel like you're very defensive. They feel like you're very defensive and you're holding yourself back. You're protecting yourself. You're not really revealing everything that you feel about this individual, Scar. So there's a side of them that feels like you're very defensive. Very de and they understand that. They definitely understand that. But they're going to stick around anyways. They're not leaving, Scar. They're not leaving. They refuse to leave. The chariot could be in reverse because they refuse to leave. I'm not leaving you, Scorpio. I'm not. You're somebody that makes me really happy. You're somebody that I see as a soulmate. I love you and I care about you and I want to be honest with you. I want to invest my time into this connection. I don't want to have things stagnant all the time. I don't want to keep you waiting. If this is, if this was a situation like that, Scar, or just leaving you hanging, you know what I'm saying? A hangman is all about leaving somebody hanging, but that's in reverse. They ain't leaving you hanging. They're investing their time into you. But this is just a straight to the point message right here, Scorpio. Either somebody could be having buku car troubles, buku amount of car troubles. Get something to do with. Uh, Let me, let me go ahead and feel this energy. Fuel pump. It could be the fuel pump. The radiator. It could either be the fuel pump or the radiator. Or they could have an alternator problem. That's the three now picking up on the two. It'll be the radiator, the fuel pump, or the alternator. That's a three dollar picking up on. Look like to me, it's time to sell that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they can always fix it, but at the same time, somebody could be experienced. Yeah, you got the five of swords right here, right next to the chariot in reverse. Maybe this individual feels like they can't travel towards you because they having these issues right here. They got us constantly. That's tools. I get that this is tools in somebody's hand working on their car. Or have a mechanic. They may have their car in the shop and a mechanic may be working on their car, Scorpio. Trying to hang on to their money. And it's costing them a pretty penny to actually get their car fixes when I'm picking up. That's a random ass mess. I don't know why I even picked up that mess for their current feelings. But this is what I'm getting throughout this read right here, these cars. They could have their car in the shop and a mechanic could be working on it. But overall, they could be communicating with you right now, Scorpio. Okay, they are feeling like you're holding back, you're protecting yourself, you're very guarded, Scar. That's just what I have for their feelings, but they do have the faith that the both of y'all will work, th work through things and you will be together. These are marriage cards. The faith is the Hierophant. Ten of Pentacles is the end all be all. That's everything and anything that this person ever wanted. And they want you really bad, Scorpio. Like, they don't just want you. They love you. They love you. They don't want to cause this chaos in your life anymore. They're not going to leave you hanging. That could possibly be why you're upset, Scorpio, why you're guarding yourself, why you're very protective. Because you want this individual to prove themselves. And you have a valid point to where they, they have to prove themselves. Because if they lie, Scorpio, if they left you hanging or something like that, they're going to have to prove themselves. Otherwise... They're going to miss out on it, and that's what they know. They acknowledge it. They realize it. That's why they're not going to cause that chaos anymore. So I, I get the sense that this individual has come to their senses that you are the one for them, Scorpio. And they're not leaving. They're not leaving. I don't get no leaving energy here. They're not leaving. Somebody has definitely came back from the past. And they more than likely know that they left a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> and it's kind of funny with the Six of Cups in reverse. But they're, they're willing to do anything and everything, Scorpio. They're stubborn enough to actually work on this connection and tell you the truth and be honest and not play around. All right. That's what I have for their feelings for you. Definitely communication. What's Scorpio's person? What's Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Archangel Michael, Allah, Holy Spirit, Mom. 
What Scorpio is current feelings for this person? What Scorpio is per uh, what Scorpio is current feelings for this person? What is Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Scorpio's current feelings. Anything that's trying to interrupt my speech, I call upon Archangel Michael to slice it away from my aura and to, co uh, to completely protect me 100,000%. Period. God protect me. Archangel Michael protect me. Mama protect me. So I get my messages out there. Protect me. What is Scorpio's feelings, current feelings for this person? What is Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Scorpio's current feelings for this person. What is Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Oh, the reason why I may be hesitant is because you're hesitant to talk to them. Like you kind of got this hesitant energy about you, Scorp. Like you're talking to them, but you're very hesitant. Like, eh, I don't know. Kind of shaking up, shaking a little bit like, I don't know about this. What are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? The one that I just did a read on. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, Allah, Mama. <laughs> Mama. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands in reverse. It's like you lost the passion, Scorpio. You lost the passion. You still feel like they're in that flighty energy. You still feel like they're in that flighty energy and you still feel like they're a player. Some of y'all has lost sexual attraction towards them, Scorpio. But hold on. There's a sense at the same time with this Knight of Wands, even though you may feel like they're a player still, there could be a touch of sexual attraction. That's what it is. It's hidden behind the scenes. There could be just a little touch of sexual attraction. Just a little taste of it. You could be still sexually attracted to them, but with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like it's not that strong as it was. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse, Scorpio. You feel like you don't want to work things out with the person. You feel like they treated you very unfairly. Or you feel like they're not willing to invest their time, but they really is, Scorpio. They really are. They really are. They do want to invest into this connection, Scorpio. They do. You feel like it wasn't an equal give and take, and you feel like they're still going to be that way. You still like they're still gonna they're still gonna be a player. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody named Phil. P H I L Phil. But you still feel that way. You still feel like they're just gonna be in and out your life. And it's not worth putting your time into. But we're gonna see their intentions though after this. Seven of Cups in reverse, okay. So you still are into them, Scorpio. You don't have any other options. Even though you may be feeling like this. You still feel like you don't have any uh, anybody else. You don't want anybody else because you still care about this person. Yeah, with the nine of cups. But you're fine on your own, though, at the same time. You're not codependent cool on this individual. Okay? So you're also emotionally independent. Very stable on your own, but this is your wish fulfillment. You do care about this person very much. You really don't see anybody else. Nine of Wands. So you could be guarded, Scorpio. You're definitely guarded and wounded over the situation. It's because it's in and out energy. Yeah, due to a third party situation. Maybe you still feel like this individual is going to run off and put you in third parties again. But there's a part of you that has faith. There's a, there's a part of you that has faith. That you do want this commitment with them. But you still feel like they're going to run off. And involve themselves in third party situation. You got 3-3 three, three right here. You still feel like they're going to invest their time elsewhere. And it's like you can't bring your boundaries down. Even though you may be feeling emotional for them. You're still emotionally connected to them. But you still feel like you can't let your guard all the way down, Scar. You're tired of that. 
king of coins, you also feel like things ain't going to be stable with the king of coins in reverse. Some of you may just be willing to, even though you may be feeling this way about this person, Scorpio, there's a part of you that just wants to leave things behind. But there's a whirlwind of emotions that's hitting you. Maybe some of you just wants to close the cycle out. You're not sure how you feel. Because it's mixed energies. You're having mixed emotions. That's exactly what it is. One minute you're happy. One minute you're on guard. One minute you have the faith. One minute you're feeling this way about them. Next minute is this. So you're having a lot of conflicted emotions over this individual. So that tells me right there in itself that you still care for them. You're still energetically connected to this individual. Because you're still feeling a lot of uncertainty. That's why you're talking to them. That's why you're talking to them because you still care about them. Even though you may be feeling conflicted, you're still talking to them. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what this individual's intentions are towards Scorpio. What is this individual's intentions towards Scorpio that's talking to Scorpio right now? That I just did a read on the first spread. What is this individual's intentions towards Scorpio? Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, Mama, Allah. What is this individual's intentions towards Scorpio? What are their true intentions towards Scorpio? The reason for this reconciliation. What is the main reason for this reconciliation? Their intentions beyond it. What are their intentions beyond this reconciliation? What are their main intentions beyond this reconciliation? The death in reverse, things not being over. The hanging man in reverse again. Page of Wands to communicate. The Queen of Cups because they're in love with you and they want to be loyal to you, Scorpio. Eight of Coins in reverse. Hmm. Six of Coins in reverse. The Five of Coins. Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm not liking where this, this energy is going. The Ace of Coins in reverse. The Empress in reverse. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. I see some back and forth communication going on between the two of y'all, Scorpio, until there's going to be a cutoff of communication. That, that could just go for some of y'all out there, Scorpio. Or just for some of y'all, they no longer want to be... All right, I'm back, Scorp. Got a phone call that was blocked. Oh. Um, what you have here is... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There you go with the eight of wands in reverse. Anyways, uh, what you have? <laughs> what you have? Stop laughing, damn it. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, Scorp, this is their intentions towards you. They no longer want to be sneaky and deceptive, Scorpio. With the seven of swords in reverse. Uh... There could be a problem with equal give and take still. But I also get the sense that they, they don't want to date anybody else, Scorpio. They don't want to drag and involve other people in this connection. And it's because they can't move on, Scorpio. They can't move on with the Eight of Wands. They can't move on. And it's like they constantly feel... Left out in the cold no matter who else they deal with, Scott. 
they don't feel secure. Their intentions totally with the Empress in reverse. Uh, they could have been non-caring in the past. But I'm getting a sense now that they want to talk to you and they want to communicate. They want to be loyal to you and do the right thing. They don't want nothing else new with somebody else. I'm also getting a sense they don't want to talk to anybody else. They feel like they can't move on, Scorpio. Their intentions is they can't move on. They no longer want to be in this energy to where they're not investing in the connection is what I'm getting. They're turning over a new leaf and being honest. So there's definitely going to be a lot of communication between the two of y'all, Scorpio. They don't want things to end. Their intentions is to not end things with you. But to end this deceptive energy. If there hasn't been no contact, they want to end the no contact, Scorpio, and open up the lines of communication with the Page of Wands. More than likely to come clean or something, Scorpio, to tell you that they may just come out and tell you that they was dealing with other people while y'all separated, and I can't find nobody else like you, Scorpio, because I'm in love with you. I feel I feel lonely and left, left in the cold without you. I'm not really confident and happy like I perceive to be. I'm not happy with that lifestyle. That's an obvious, Scott, because you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. So their intentions uh, is what I'm seeing, Scorpio, is very genuine. They do want to invest their emotions and love into this connection. They just don't want to put any more time into being in this energy right here, selfish, self-centered. Because the Eight of Coins is right above that. They don't want to invest their time into being self-centered anymore. Because they know that your feelings matter, Scott. They know that your feelings matter. This individual more than likely know that they could have hurt you really bad. They could have had a touch of narcissism. Narcissistic traits in the past. Very selfish, Scott. Like, they really didn't care how much they hurt you. Not saying they're a full-blooded one because I didn't get that from that last spread at all, Scott. I'm not picking up the energy at all. But at the same time, they could have had a touch of narcissistic traits. It's very selfish. Not really paying attention to how the other person feels. But I think the time that y'all haven't been talking, Scorpio, since they're talking to you now, the time that y'all haven't been speaking, they realize this. Like, I got to come clean all that energy. I can't keep treating Scorpio like that. Scorpio's not going to put up with it. And they don't want things to be over with the death in reverse. That's their intentions. They don't want things to be over. Exactly. With the two of swords in reverse. They see clearly now. Six of swords want to move on to common waters. What's this individual's overall intentions towards Scorpio? Their overall intentions. The emperor upright. The emperor upright. Exactly. They want to take control with Scorpio. They want to take control and do the right thing. They want to be confident enough and give to the situation. This could be with the Aries. Why is the Emperor here? For their overall intentions? Two of Swords in reverse with the Four of Coins in reverse. They want to be honest with you, Scorpio. They want to be honest with you and stop holding secrets back and stuff like that. Keeping things to themselves. They want to reveal more. They don't want to keep you in confusion like that. They want to be open about things, Scorpio. So they come out of this, this, this negative energy right here. Look like to me, this individual has made a transformation. I'm not saying this person is like this, Scott, but maybe this person could treat other people as if they don't give a shit about them. And they, these people would do anything in the world for them and keep chasing behind them. But with you, they know that they got to act right. Because you're a powerful person. They're like, they know what you, they got to act right. Like, they, they, they got to be, they got to be on their, 
How can I say this? They just, in general, they gotta act right around you, Scorpio. They gotta respect you. They know off top, you see straight through the lies. Ain't nothing could get past a Scorpio, bro. If somebody's selfish, you're gonna start mirroring the energy. You're gonna start catching on to it. They know off top, they can't pull this seven of swords over with you, Scorpio. It's in reverse. You're gonna catch on to it every time. And they know that they have to do things right by you. They can't keep secrets from you. They can't keep you confused. They can't do it because you're already called on. Their intentions is to come clean, to not hide anything because chances are they probably were hiding something, but they know that they can't do it. They got to come at you correctly, Scorpio. This individual knows that they got to come at you correctly. But they respect you for that. I'll tell you that. They respect you because they're in love with you because you're in your power. They may could do this to anybody else out there, Scorpio. They could string them alone. They could do any damn thing they want to them, and they will chase behind them. They will continuously chase behind them and chase behind them. Like if they block them, they will continuously try to call them back to back, back to back, back to back, message them back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. But with a Scorpio, I see clearly what's going on. You got caught in your little deceptive behavior. Now you're trying to manipulate situations or whatever it is. Okay. Think you're going to receive a message from me. You'll never hear from me a day in your life. That's Scorpio's mentality. While the other people, they be sitting there. I'm telling you, Scorpio, they be sitting there kissing ass just to get this person. Just to get them. But they're attracted to you. They're attracted to you. And let me tell you why. Because they know that they got to do the right thing. They can't act foolish around you without you calling them out in their bullshit. With the seven of swords in reverse. That's what I tell y'all, Scott. Be true and authentic to yourself. Be true and authentic in your nature. Live in your truth. Live in your truth. Yeah, things are not completed between the two of y'all. But they know that they're going to have to come at you correctly, Scott. You're not hiding anything and not put you in confusion. This could be a Libra, Capricorn, or Aries. They know that they're going to have to come at you correctly. You're not going to tolerate anything, Scar. You're not going to tolerate anything less. Just like I said, I guarantee you, if they were seeing anybody else, they could play with these people all day, every day, keep them on a string, manipulate them, do anything they want, and it would clearly go over their head. They could clearly lie to them about something big, and it would still go over their head. Scorpio's an intelligent though, bro. I'm telling you, we're the psychics of the Zodiac. We will clearly look straight into somebody's face and analyze beyond the facial structure, straight directly to the soul, deep to the source of the energetic vibration, and instantly scope you out. That's how we are. We will pierce directly through that soul like that, bro, to the source of the energetic vibration of frequency that you want, and we will instantly scope it out. Bam. All it takes is a split second. Scorpio look at you like that. Boom. It's over. It's over. Like we just automatically get the information through telepathy. That's how it works. That's exactly why they know they got to come at you correctly. I guarantee you, this is why this person wants to put everything they, they can into this connection. Because they know Scorpio. They know that they screwed up. And they know that you have a different perception on them. But it's like your perception changed, you know what I'm saying? And they know that. But even though your perception changed, they still want to put their time into it. They don't want things to be stagnant. They don't want to keep you stuck. They don't want to leave you hanging. Their intentions is to not keep you stuck. All right? But that's what I have for y'all. Read, Scorpio. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. Got the Seven of Swords in reverse, Scorpio. Yeah, they no longer want to date around and do all this bullshit right here. If that's what they was doing... Because they're in love with you, with the Queen of Cups right here and the Page of Wands. They could want to sleep with you too. All right? But at the same time, Scarp, this was y'all read for the day. Y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. This will not resonate with everybody. And once again, if y'all want to leave a donation, if y'all care to leave a donation, I'll have a link in the description box below. Peace out.